What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're going to play some Ranked. So, uh, I haven't been doing too well in Ranked lately. Number 7, my main account I haven't touched, I'm still at number 1. But this account, I'm down to 1887, and I noticed, I don't know if I'm playing badly, but I've been getting just pounded by growth and decay, and I'm growth, and I'm just getting quaked, returns to nature. I don't think I'm getting the best draws, but I'm also making good amount of mistakes so we're gonna try something different today and what I'm going to do is count cards so ever since the graveyard thing came out they could see the amount of cards in your graveyard when your deck recycles I've thought of doing this but I never actually have actually gone through with doing it so I think I'll do that today maybe so if I'm going to I, have, I wrote down a list on this piece of paper right here um, Every card in my deck and my growth deck, um, you can just see it right now. So that's the deck, and um, I wrote down like, well, there's three of every card, and then there's two ancestral totems. So what I'm gonna do is every time I draw one of the cards, I'll just make a mark next to the name. So then I'll be able to know exactly what's left in my deck to recycle. And then that will help me be able to calculate, like, what's the percent chance that I'm going to draw the a Crimson Bowl when I sack for cards here and stuff like that. So, uh, I think that may help. I might be diving too deep into this. I might be working really hard for no reason during, this, during these matches. It might not actually help me win any matches. But I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, if I can predict what I'm going to draw. And then know if I should be sacking for scrolls to get that, like... Crimson Bowl I need to clear the board or should I just take the safe route and sack for resources because there's a very small chance of me drawing it so hopefully I can get in a ranked match you know what, let's search for a quick match also whatever comes up first I'll join so if, if it ends up being a quick match I guess this won't be an episode of ranked it would just be a normal random scrolls video um, what can I say? Oh, so, uh, the, um, oh, well, don't say anything. Alright, ranked. Here we go. So, good luck, the happy shepherd, and, alright, so I can cross off three ragged wolves. Sister of the Fox, a Vetter, and a Breaker. Okay. So, um, I think we're gonna play the uh, Vetter this turn. I don't have to keep track of sack of what I'm sacrificing, because kind of when I draw it, it means it's like I can't. I can't sacrifice scrolls and get it again until the deck recycles. So I'm just taking note of when I draw something. Okay, now Quake. I'm going to sacrifice the Quake and play the Breaker. So now let me cross off one Quake. I'm just making some tallies here. Okay. You know what I was thinking? Maybe I could do this for opponent's creatures also. That would be probably getting too out of hand though. Um, don't want to attack that. Sack a Ragged Wolf for a Sis of the Fox. Uh, I'll sack the Ragged Wolf. Okay, so that's a Brother of the Wolf. Man, I should really cross that off as soon as I draw it, not when I'm like playing it and stuff. Okay. So we've gone through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards of our deck so far. Mangy Wolf. I'll cross Mangy Wolf off. And now what do I want to sacrifice? Think, believe it or not, I'm gonna sack the mangy wolf for cards. And now 
mounts cross off a sister of the fox and a kinfolk brave and I'm going to you there sister of the fox in front brave in the back and I'll move you two down and I drew another mage wolf with the sister of the fox sorry if this is getting a little bit annoying to hear because I have to pause and write it down and everything okay so I've not drawn any crimson bulls, ancestral totems, fertile soils, rat kings, great wolves, veterans, rallying, sister of the owls, or god hands yet. Okay. Ouch. That hurts. And now I got a kinfolk veteran. And I will sacrifice. Since I haven't drawn any crimson bulls yet it would probably be a decent chance if I sack for scrolls I might get one I'm gonna sack for scrolls I'm gonna sack this mangy for scrolls here oh this is a good time we can check so we have 37 more cards left and um, we have about a 15% chance of getting one if I sack for scrolls, so I think I'll take that. And I didn't get it, but that's fine. I now will. I'll move you guys up. And play, brother. Oh, I drew a rally. Alright. Yeah. And I already ripped down the kinfolk veteran good. Okay, Vanguard. Now Fertile Soil, let's say we did that. And now if I play the rally I think I'm gonna play the rally so I can kill both of these two guys um I'll sacrifice the sister of the fox and play the rally and now if I go one two three all right I can't spawn any wolves oh well so I'll go Okay. I think it's, it's gonna be more useful to know what I've sacked when I'm getting to the end of my deck. We're still in like the early stages here, so it's not like a huge deal. Um, now I think I will sacrifice. I drew an ancestral. That's my first. I have one more ancestral totem in the deck. Um, I will sacrifice it for resources and play the veteran ragged wolf, I guess. User disconnected from your channel. All right, sorry, that was just team speak. I'm in the AFK room. All right. So we still have not drawn any Rat Kings, Great Wolves, Sister of the Owls, God Hands, or Crimson Bulls. Pother, what are you gonna do? Blessing Face Focus or something? Wing Shield, okay. Not too bad. Sister of the Owls, so I'm gonna sacrifice. Oh, first let's write down. Sister of the Owl. And now I will sacrifice the Fertile Soil for cards. And Rat King and Ancestral right, So I have no more Ancestral Totems. And I have... Here, there's the Rat King. Okay. Now I don't... I've, I could put Ancestral Totem down. That would go 4 and 2. I couldn't kill this guy no matter what I do this turn. 
So I think I'll just play the Sister of the Owl. And... Yeah, I'll just play Sister of the Owl. Um... I think I'm still going to put damage on that without spawning the wolf, though. Um... build board now. We're a little vulnerable vulnerable to mangonels, but probably isn't even running them. Okay, the only cards we have not drawn yet are all right, he's surrounding. Was Crimson Bull, Great Wolf, and God Hand. Who's writing? Oh, back in fourth place, that's nice. Uh I don't think I'm gonna want to play two ranked matches in this video, but I don't think we saw the full potential of counting our cards that match. So I, don't know, I feel like it can be awesome to just know like exactly because you know how whenever you're finishing a match, not finish, finishing your deck, and you have like five cards left. It would be awesome to know exactly what those five cards are. I, but I, we couldn't get to that point during the last match because he surrendered. So, um, what can you do? Um, I, I'm going to cut off the video here. So, uh, I'm going to keep trying this, see if I get good results. And then maybe I'll suggest it to you guys keep doing this. Um, it's really not that hard to just write down your deck and just make little tallies next to the things when you draw them. So, uh, hopefully it wasn't too annoying to watch. And... I thank you all for watching, like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want more content like this, and uh, get Hyper Rebellion, I'll see you all next time. Oh, one thing to note, this Friday, 5pm uh, 5, 5 Eastern Time, um, Heart of Scrolls podcast, it's every week that time, but this Friday I am going to be there not as a guest, but as the guy behind the camera, in quotes, uh, I'll be streaming it and doing all that, so make sure you watch that, so then if I screw up, you'll get to see it and laugh at me. So, um...